In this video, we'll be talking about spot vol correlation. Spot vol correlation is the relationship between the spot price of the underlying and its respective VIX calculation. The most popular and most observed in institutional and academic circles is between SPX and the VIX. But with Voland, you have the spot vol correlation for all 240 plus underlyings we offer. Some of these relationships are very correlated and some are not, but without a VIX index on these underlying, the spot vol correlation is at least known to Volin subscribers. To see the spot vol correlation, add a new widget, scroll down to the spot vol correlation widget here under statistics, and select the underlying you would like to see. We will focus on SPX for now. The spot vol correlation can be a scatter plot of all daily changes in VIX and percent SPX over the past six months. The R squared here represents the correlation between the stock's volatility and the underlying movement. The slope here represents how many points the VIX would normally move if the underlying increases 1% in a day. Today is September 25th, 2024. And in the past couple of months, we've experienced a couple of vol events that undermine the R squared, but the slope is relatively the same as normal. It suggests that when SPX moves up 1%, VIX would move down 0.74 points. If it moves down more than 0.74 points, then we say that it is under VIXed. But if it moves down less than 0.74 points or increases, we'd say it is over VIXed. It is not that uncommon to over VIX or under VIX a little bit, but when there is a large deviation from the trend line slope, it is notable. The first occasion is on Fridays. Equities tend to under VIX while on Mondays, equities tend to over-VIX. This is because there is no volatility on weekends, but the passing of a weekend creates more volatility in the 30-day time frame of VIX. This is known as the Monday effect. Dealers know this, so they just adjust the weighting of the time decay of their premiums to account for the weekend, and there is no trade to be had there. Sometimes the market has a strong VIX reaction called the vol event, or the volatility event. This is when the market over VIXes considerably, typically associated with a drop in the underlying. Personally, I define this as more than two points of over VIXing, so these points right here, in a single day. Two things can cause that level of over VIXing. The first is excessive puts being purchased that day, and the second is a drop in option liquidity. If there are excessive puts bought that day, and a majority of them do not go in the money, this becomes supportive of the market thanks to a dramatic increase in VANA. You will see this as positive bars on the VANA exposure chart. That would be right here. So if there are a lot of positive green bars here, that means that excessive puts have been bought on an overvixing day. If this happens, this becomes supportive of the market. So you will see this as positive bars and can confirm this by down selecting to puts. If the implied volatility explosion is from a lack of liquidity, which would be shown here in the liquidity widget, there is reason outside the option space for this dynamic. Many times it means a hedge fund or an institution has been liquidated. That situation must be resolved and the knock-on effects on other institutions or hedge funds must be minimized before liquidity returns. Once it does return, that is also supportive of the market. You can see the liquidity change by seeing the change in the delta adjusted dealer spread. If it is rising swiftly, that means there is a liquidity issue in the market. Because both dynamics are abnormal occurrences in the market, a volatility event, again being defined as overvixing by two or more points, is typically followed by a full recovery in the underlying price, at least in SPX. In SPX, that recovery is typically completed within two weeks. These dynamics hold true to individual stocks also, but because there could be fundamental reasons for overfixing in individual equities, recovery success rates are not as high. In addition, the spot vol correlation R squared in individual equities should be high. I have here a couple of examples of indices and ETFs and equities of their spot vol correlation charts. We've discussed SPX already. QQQ tends to be a little bit less correlated and the slope is a lot lower. So little movements in implied volatility can create large moves in the underlying. 
But as you can see, these are the two same points as we're here in SPX. And you can see that implied volatility is a lot more volatile compared with the underlying than it is in SPX. Over here, we have GME. This is a blob. The R squared is zero, and that means that implied volatility is not correlated very well with GME underlying moves. While that does not sound like a good thing, it would help if you did some pair trades or some option trades on GME because GME option implied volatility can decay or rise without movement in the underlying. Here, Tesla is also not very correlated. You could see it's just a scatter plot, pretty much straddling the zero line here on VIX point change. However, just to show you that some equities are very correlated, we have Apple here with a 0.17 R squared, of course, with some outlier points from the past couple months, and a slope of negative 0.35. If you wanted to see Apple's implied volatility compared with its price, you can go over here, select Apple. And today, Apple looks like it is down about a percent, but VIX, it's VIX, VIX Apple is only up 0.15. They can tell that it is not over VIXing or under VIXing. So this selling will not necessarily result in full recovery. Here we have Microsoft. Let's duplicate this widget, edit, and check out Microsoft. There we go. So here Microsoft went up maybe a half percent and only went down 0 0.01. So this looks like a little bit of overvixing in Microsoft. Microsoft is very highly correlated, almost more, it's definitely even more correlated than SPX. And the slope is negative 0.55. So since Microsoft went up about 0.5%, you could expect its implied volatility to go down roughly 0.27, somewhere around there. It only went down 0.01. So there's a little bit of undervixing in Microsoft, but not enough to cause a, a reason for concern. Thank you for watching this video and may Volen help you with your trading ventures.